video is on normal distribution. In today's video, here is the problem. A manufacturer knows from experience that the resistance of the resistors he produces is normal. See here, we have to take normal distribution with mean 100 ohms. See here, mean is given as 100 ohms and standard deviation is given as 2 ohms. What percentage of resistance will have resistance between 98 ohms and 1 or 2 ohms? See here, we have to take normal distribution with mean 100 ohms. And standard deviation sigma is equal to 2 ohms. And we have to find out the percentage of the resistance will have resistance between 98 ohms and 1 or 2 ohms. So this is the question. So we have to choose normal distribution. And what is given here? Let mu be the mean and sigma be the standard deviation. See here, mean is given as 100 ohms. See here, mean is given as 100 ohms and standard deviation is given as 2 ohms. So, we have to find out the resistance between 98 ohms and 1 or 2 ohms. See, when x is equal to 98, when x is equal to 98 and what is our z value? So, z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. x is equal to, z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. If I substitute the x value as 98, so, this is 98 minus mu is 100 by sigma value is equal to 2. So, this will be minus 1. So, this is minus 2 by 2. So, which is equal to minus 1. So, we got the value of z as minus 1. When x is equal to 98, we got the z value as minus 1. See, when x is equal to 1 or 2 ohms, when x is equal to 1 or 2 ohms, so what will be our z value? So z is equal to, again the formula here is x minus mu by sigma. See x minus mu by sigma is nothing but x is equal to 1 or 2 minus mu is 100 and sigma value is equal to 2. This is 2 by 2, the value here is 1. So we got the other value z as plus 1. Now we have to draw the normal curve here. So while drawing the normal curve, See here, so this is the curve, it traps to plus infinity and here this traps to minus infinity and here x is equal to mu. See when x is equal to 98, see here x is equal to 98, we got z value as negative minus 1, see here. So when x is equal to 98 we got z value as minus 1 and see when x is equal to 1 or 2 we got the z value as plus 1 x is equal to this is 1 or 2 in terms of z if you write then this will be z is equal to 0 so this is z is equal to plus 1 and this value is z is equal to minus 1 so we need the area in between this so this is the, the required region see here so, this is the area we have to find. So, this is area A1 and this is area A2. So, the total area will be the required answer. See, the next thing here is, so after doing this, so we have to find out the area. That is, we have to find out the probability in between 98 less than x less than this is 1 or 2. In terms of z, so we can write this as probability of minus 1 less than z less than plus 1. See, this is nothing but the area A1. So, this is z is equal to 0 to z is equal to minus 1. And this is z is equal to 0 to z is equal to plus 1. So, this is area 1 and this is minus 1. So, by symmetry we can write this as area 1 and this is also plus 1. So, minus 1 is also area is always positive or by symmetry we can write as 1. So, this can be written as 2 times of area 1. So, what is this? So, 1.0 under 0. This is 0 0.3413. The value here is 0 0.3413. So, from the table, the value here is 0 0.3413 and this will be the answer that is 0 0.6826. So, the required area that is minus 1 less than z less than 1 is 0 0.6826 and see here now we need the percentage therefore the percentage of resistors the percentage of resistors having resistance 
having resistance between see here 98 ohms and 102 ohms is nothing but this is 0 0.6826 by 100 so which is equal to 68.26 and which is 68 percent approximately so this is how we have to solve and see here this is also so simple to solve and thank you for watching and hope you all guys understand so this is the case we got the mean is equal to 100 and uh, sigma is equal to 2 for x is equal to 98 we got z value as minus 1 for x is equal to 102 we got z value as plus 1 this is how we have to plot the graph and this is area a1 and this is area a2 and the total area will be 2 times of z of a1 from the uh, table we got the value of, of uh, the distance between 0 z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 is 0 0.3413 and the percentage here is after dividing with 100 we got 68 percent thank you so much